I've been painting since I was about eight or nine years old. You know, started with monster trucks and dragons, Star Wars, you know, that kind of stuff. And kind of kept moving on and on. Uh, started being able to paint faces and things like that probably around the fifth grade. And then around sixth grade, I noticed my teachers were taking my stuff and putting it up on the walls for their decorations and stuff. So, yeah, I've been painting, painting and drawing since I can remember, really. Right now, I'm doing a Dinah Washington. That's this one back here. I'm doing what's called a glazing technique. Uh, it's where you, you kind of keep building up the paint. It starts off really muddy and, and you keep going in in more detail, more detail. Um, I went and I picked out a, a person, a local person uh, named Brenda Reed, BJ Reed, who's doing a show where she does uh, one hour of Dinah Washington, where she's singing the songs of Dinah Washington. And so I'm basically doing Brenda Reed as Dinah Washington. My second painting that I'm doing is from a song called Johnny Was. It's a Bob Marley song. And while one brother stayed and became Rastafarian and really spiritual and you know, really tried to do good things, the other brother became what's called Rudy. You know, so it was Rude Boys, which is our equivalent of a gangster. And he gets shot and killed. And the song is about the mother who comes out into the street and sees her one son shot and killed. When I was looking, I already knew that I was going to do Bob Marley, but you know, she said she'd like to do it. So when I do these, I'm going to actually try to keep Shari looking as Shari, you know. But it, but the title of the painting will be Shari as Bob Marley. As far as as why these people are famous, um, I've always thought they're they're famous because of their songs and, and their writings and things like that. So you know, if I'm going to go and and try to you know. To, to portray somebody, I'd like to more portray their work rather than their image. The B-Side Art Show, it's just widespread and just it's every kind of style you can think of. And what they're going to bring is a, a ton of different ways you can do paintings. So, you know, you can do them raw and rough or slick and tight, you know. It can be about the song or it can be about the, the portrait of the singer. You know, it could be uh, slightly abstract and to slightly, you know, to more real. So, you know, it's just going to be every different kind. But I, I know from last year, it's just a fun show, and some of them just be your mouth will drop. You know, I've seen quite a few of them coming in. It's going to be cool. Anyone that knows me around town knows that I carry my coffee, and it's not just coffee; it's espresso, and I'll do about four of these per day. So, and about the fifth one, if I start getting on the painting, you'll start to see like jiggly lines, but that's, it keeps me going. I'm, you know, I'm raring to go. I know at the Arts Council, they're always asking about the Red Cub, so I'll be bringing it.